Hi, my name is Hayley, I am 25 years old and I am a full-time secondary school science teacher. I don't think teaching is for me anymore. So this is my YouTube journey. You have to be brave in life if you're not happy with something you need to change it. So I'm going to change it. Hello again. Um, I'm back from taking the driving test. Um, unfortunately, I did not pass first time. I'm back outside the test centre for driving test day number two, or try number two. I've just come out of my test and I'm pleased to say I have passed. I survived my first week. I did it. I survived. Yay! It's week three, day five of HGV driving. I can't believe it's gone this quick. I love driving this lorry because I feel free and I want to say thank you because this morning when I woke up I had a look on my YouTube channel and I've gone over 500 subscribers now. I didn't expect to ever get this many subscribers on my channel. Right then, we are back home. Oh dear, just my look, a car alarm starts to go off as I start my video. Am I ever going to progress to class one and do long distance work? Uh, the answer is yes, probably. So I would like to have my YouTube channel follow me from teacher who was fed up with her job to class one lorry driver. Mess it up once again. Number five, what would I do if I stopped being a truck driver? Well, it's bad enough, isn't it? I think I would still like to do something involved in this industry. Maybe something like transport manager or something like teaching, teaching within this industry, maybe teaching students how to or teaching one of the courses like maybe the hazardous waste courses, the ADR stuff, things like that. Something within this industry. This job, I've got it cracked. I'm like the professional. Yesterday, Boris Johnson did the speech at half past eight last night about us going in lockdown now. So you're only allowed to leave your house to go to work and for, you know, special reasons. This is what we're expected to wear. So, what do you think? Beautiful? I don't think so, but there you go. Okay, this was probably a bad idea. <laughs> the water's splashing really close to me. <laughs> Are 
I would like to say a big thank you for 5,000 subscribers. Oh my God. I can't believe so many people are interested in what I've got to say <laughs> and my story. To be honest, today I've really struggled. Guys, I don't know what to say. It wasn't meant to be today. I got back in the cab and he told me, Hayley, I'm sorry, the test can't continue. Um, you failed at this point. So that was it. Yes, I'm gutted. I can't blame anyone. It's my own fault. Um, but there you go. It wasn't meant to be today. Uh, unfortunately so yeah but still not gonna give up i'll be back when there's a retest i'm here at billy thomas's yard and um yeah let's just pan to the man himself and he can tell you exactly what's just happened yeah, what's just happened? Just passed your test here. <laughs> <laughs> i just passed my blooming test that's brilliant there Today, I have become a class one driver. Got to the docks, nice wide open space, big bay like an airport hangar. I thought, guys, I've got this. This is gonna go straight in and I'm gonna look like I know what I'm doing. And then I tried to set up correctly turned the wheel the wrong way, ended up in a right mess. So I had to go forward. I think about three times I went forward before I'd even got near the door. I was just trying to get the right angle. <laughs> it was well embarrassing. Um, and the guys on at the docks were laughing at me. And when I got out of the truck, the first thing I said was, these class ones are hard. You know, they're hard to reverse. I says, guys, I'm so sorry. It's only my second week doing deliveries in in um, in the Arctic, and you know it's it's so hard and frustrating. It's embarrassing making these stupid mistakes. I've had enough. I could be a transport manager, maybe I could be an instructor, maybe I could be uh, one of those people that teach ADR, something like that. So what could I actually do?
I think if getting your class one license is something that you want to do, you need to be prepared to look and feel like the biggest idiot going for at least three weeks, two to three weeks. I don't know. Everybody's different, I suppose. Depends how fast you pick it up. But for me, the first three weeks, I felt and looked like the biggest idiot going. And it, it's such a frustrating feeling when you just don't know how to how to fix it. Sometimes the chains are like that, they're quite big chains and they're very heavy and I just got to that point now where this isn't for me, unfortunately. I'm not enjoying it. This isn't for me. I'm not physically cut out for that kind of work. So I handed my resignation letter in last week and today is my last day. I resigned from my new job. The big no-no for me was the mud. So I hadn't realised that delivering these construction reinforcements to construction sites was going to be so muddy. I have a new job, another new job, and I thought I'd bring you along today. So the first step is to get the paperwork and to find the truck and trailer. How cool is that? Don't get them in Wolverhampton. I'm back in a truck. Let me show you. I'm delivering steel again uh, and I'm in a green lorry. That's right. Uh, I'm back at Kai Transport today. I'm just doing some temporary work here and there. A couple of reasons. I just want to pursue uh, being a HGV instructor and things like that. Really. I want to pursue more than just driving now. And I never had anything bad to say about Kai Transport when I left last time. And, and I think a lot of me leaving last time was wondering what life is like outside of Kai Transport. What other jobs are out there? What is life like? And I've worked at a couple of other places and this one was my favourite. Yeah, I'd say it's not the easiest job, but the people here are great, you know, so uh, I'm really pleased to be back. I feel like the exams went well. Um, the multiple choice, I felt like I knew most of the answers. I was confident. Some I was a little bit unsure of, some were guesses. Today is Friday the 15th of July and I've been busy this week. I've been on an ADR course. Today is a really important day because today is Transport Manager CPC Results Day. Hello. How are you doing? I think I'm okay. <laughs> are you? Well, well, well let's, let's, let's find out, shall we? Right. <laughs> Hey, Miss, um, right then, multi-choice, you needed 38 to pass, and you got 43, so well done there, Woo smashed it. Thank you. Uh, case study, you needed 30, and you got 55, so that's, that's an almost perfect score, mate, top of the class, well done. Oh, wow, thank you very much. Yeah, there you go. Boom! Wow, that, I did it. Fingers crossed, and yes, I've done it, so I'm buzzing. Here's my old truck look, my rigid. <laughs> 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 